What are some of your thoughts on what we can do to really combat some of these things and focus and keep our hearts aligned with where we need to be and where God wants us to be? Sometimes an indication of where our heart is is how we respond to prophetic invitation. I, uh, a number of years ago, President Hinckley invited us all in August to read the Book of Mormon. It's mm -hmm. amazing. You get on an airplane and you see everybody with their, even before the doors are closed, they've got their <laughs> Book of Mormon open. And, and it was interesting, that opportunity that we had. Those were those whose hearts were aligned and they had a wonderful opportunity to grow. President Nelson has given us an invitation to resolve a concern uh, with somebody, a, a relationship. Mm -hmm. and. I think it's how we respond. President Benson, when he, he referred to the, to the 84 section of the Doctrine and Covenants over and over again about the fact that uh, your minds in past have been darkened because of unbelief and because you have treated lightly the things you have received. And I think sometimes all of us treat a little lightly mm -hmm. uh, the things that we've received. And that's the time when we have to kind of look at ourselves and say, where is my heart? And then it's a daily reawakening, a daily renewing of where our hearts are because sometimes we'll wake up and our hearts may be a little dark. We may be a little discouraged and yet uh, for some of us it may be reading the scriptures. For some of us it may be praying. I have to tell you, for me it's doing something for somebody else or, um, or music. Those two things are the things that help me pull myself up by my bootstraps when I seem to feel a little dark.